What's going on everybody? It's Costa Mesa Dave. I'm here in Costa Mesa, California and it's raining. And you know what happens when it rains in Costa Mesa. Check it out. That's right guys, here we are, 17th Street and Pomona Avenue in Costa Mesa. That video was taken right here back in 2010. When it rains guys, this intersection likes to flood. I don't know when this intersection was built, but I'm guessing it was back in the 40s, maybe the 30s. This building right here looks like it was built in the 40s, but as you can see, they've had to change the planner system. They've had to reconstruct this seawall, if you would, because the water gets so high that it will enter the building. This building right here, 670 West 17th Street, was rebuilt in 1980. The original building that was built in the early 60s had to be torn down. They had to tear down a perfectly good building, move it back away from 17th Street, and of course, raise the foundation because again, this intersection would flood. You can see the landscaping has been designed to keep the water out. The next video that I'm gonna show you actually shows off the newest property. This again is 17th and Pomona and 100 houses were built here two years ago. There is a six foot retaining wall. The property has been raised almost 10 feet. They've set it back away from 17th Street and again raised it up. And as you can see, the very first rainstorm we got after that wall was built, the intersection flooded. Check it out. There's a bus bench over there you can't even see. Stop sign. Can I just swim? What would you do if your car was So that last video was taken in 2019 and I have one more video I'm going to share with you and then I'm actually going to play all three videos back to back so you can see them all again. But when you see it the second time, take a look at this retaining wall. The water almost goes over the top of it. Okay, this final video, the third video I'm going to share with you was taken right here at 711 West 17th Street. I was standing on the other side of this retaining wall right here, looking down right where all these cars are parked. Guys, if this intersection was to flood again, all of these cars would be underwater. In fact, here's a Ford Ranger. The truck in the next video is a Chevy Avalanche. It's a bigger truck than that Ford Ranger. You guys, where I'm standing right now, the water would be technically over my head. It's crazy. All right, guys, again, here's the final video, and then I'll play all three videos back to back so you can get a really good idea of what's gone on here over the last 75 years. Wow, crazy videos, huh? So all of these cars right here will be 100% submerged in water the next time this intersection floods. And you guys, flooding is nothing new to this area. It's been going on as long as I've been around and I moved here in 1985. According to some of the old timers, it's been flooding since day one. And again, I think this intersection was built back in the 40s. What I understand is that the pipe or the pumps take the water up and over the hill behind me and then they drain to the ocean. Actually, 
it drains to the bay, but the pipe is submerged under the water. So when the tide is high, the water actually comes up into the pipe and then the water from this intersection runs down towards the bay and there's nowhere for the water to go. And that's when the flooding occurs. So this is one of the many drains that takes the water to the ocean. And they just can't keep up, guys. I don't know what the city is gonna do about it. You talk to some of the old timers and they tell me that there's over 150 acres of concrete, asphalt, residential and commercial properties that drain into this intersection. And what do they do? They put up four signs that look like this. All right, guys, I'm gonna play all three videos back to back for you one more time. Again, take a look at that retaining wall over there. Remember the cars that we pointed out. Look at how deep the water gets. I don't think the rain that we have this weekend is gonna create flooding over here at 17th of Pomona. But when we have a big storm, when it rains for several hours, if you live in the area, keep an eye on this intersection because the water can get deep. Thank you so much for watching. Those of you that are following me, thank you so much, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, post them down below. I promise I'll address each one of them. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. See ya. There's a bus bench over there you can't even see. Stop sign. Can I just swim? Why would you move your car with cars there? There's one Honda that stalled out. There's our trash can.